I don't want to be redundant, but I, I think that's a good goal, you know, to be more physically fit, be active, get outside, yeah. right? <laughs> I think that's like all, pretty much almost all yeah. of us. <laughs> and then the gyms are completely packed and you can't find a machine. But. Always, but it's like the first month that that sticks around. And then after, you know, February, it's like yeah. it tapers off. <laughs> and of course, you know, you, you can always just go for a nice light walk. And yep. <laughs> so that's always a good time and you can decompress. I always enjoy a nice walk. Oh yeah. It's not as, you know, challenging as, hey, I'm gonna go for a run. But for right now, we are seeing all the colors light up in Pittsburgh, including on top of the Gulf Tower. Everyone's getting excited here for the last day of the year, but the weather it really could be better. We are starting off with a few flurries just south of Pittsburgh along the I-70 corridor, but temperatures are reading in the 30s, so this is very typical for New Year's Eve to wake up with temperatures in the 30s, but it does feel like the 20s and even teens down in Maryland just because of that slight wind, and it will pick up later this afternoon. So highs, we have them placed in the 30s to the low 40s. Pittsburgh will top off around 40 degrees, so that means most of the day will actually be in the 30s. We have mostly cloudy skies now, but we will start to throw in those rain chances towards the afternoon and evening. So if you're heading out to first night, temperatures are in the 30s, which is very chilly, and the rain and snow chances will be around. This could make the travel slick, some of the sidewalks slick. So make sure you wear some boots that you don't mind maybe getting a little wet and temperatures within the 30s when the wind speeds picking up could feel more like the 20s. So you need those extra layers and some extra warmers. So there's the rain and snow that's starting up here for this afternoon. And with that temperature range being anywhere from about 35 up to about 39, that's when we're seeing that mixture. So this is now about six o'clock here on Futurecast. We have more coverage of that rain and snow. And then towards midnight, as we're ringing in 2024, there is still that widespread chance of, this, of the rain and snow showers. Once we head into tomorrow morning, it should switch over for the most part into snow, especially for the ridges and laurels where they could see some snow accumulation. But Pittsburgh is expected to pretty much see little to none when it comes to the snow accumulations. But if we do happen to have that mixture of rain and snow and it starts to accumulate, it could turn a little slushy, making the travel a little bit trickier. But future cast will dry out by Tuesday but we won't see a ton of sun, still mostly cloudy skies and a chance for some flurries. Snow amounts through Monday, probably just a couple inches in the laurels and ridges, not much for the city of Pittsburgh. But Tuesday and Wednesday, we start to dry out a little bit, but then more snow comes back by Thursday with scattered snow showers. And since today is the final day of 2023, we're recapping and so far up to this date, We've seen 13.1 inches of snow and we're likely going to finish as the second least snowiest year on record. Tomorrow, 38 degrees with that rain and snow still continuing with today being around 40 degrees. And so if you are celebrating those New Year's Eve plans outside or if you're thinking about shooting off some fireworks, keep this forecast in mind and also please be safe. Those highs stay around 40 through at least Wednesday. We're back into the 30s for highs for Thursday and Friday. Scattered snow for Thursday, dry on Friday. Then we're tracking another chance for rain and snow next Saturday.